Stardom, while being relatively new in comparison to other bigger promotions, has a history as well. One thing that has evolved over time is the concept of factions within the promotion. It used to be a more foreign concept, with there really only being teams or groups, but not until Ototai's creation was faction the main structure of the promotion. Over time, factions have come and gone, going through around 9 official factions over time. Today there are 7, all with history and achievements. What I want to talk about today is more about the wrestlers themselves who make up these factions. More specifically, I want to focus on which wrestlers have been in the most amount, whether by choice or not. I am not counting any group before Orotai, as no one in stardom besides one or two people were even there to begin with, and Orotai is considered the oldest current faction, so it's a good place to start off. Which wrestlers I will be talking about are of course officially signed wrestlers, but also non-signed wrestlers who were major factors in that faction. There are many people who would qualify because they were in Odotai when it was created. But since all of them only were in one faction and haven't returned to stardom since, there isn't a reason to consider them. Let's start with wrestlers who have been in zero factions in stardom. As of the writing of this script, only 5 wrestlers fit into this category. I had to do some deep diving because one of these wrestlers could be debated on whether or not they are in a faction. Starting with the problematic one, Yuna Mizumori. The reason this one could be debated is because in July of this year she kind of insinuated that she was in the faction, but no one else really reacted or confirmed it. At the end of the day, the highest source in the land when it comes to stardom is stardom itself. On their fighter section on their website, she is listed as independent. Next we have Suzu Suzuki who is also listed under the independent section. It does seem like she is about to join a faction soon though, but at this time she is still weighing her options. One of my favorite non-stardom wrestlers, who I guess is now a stardom wrestler, Meisera, has yet to join any of the factions but is looking like, just like Suzuki, she is also sooner than later about to join one. Hanako, the one to take Lady C's title as tallest Joshi wrestler, is understandably still independent. She is relatively new, still being considered in the rookie era of her career. Last but not least is Aya Sakura, who, like Hanako, is still a rookie and has yet to be recruited or tried enlisting in a faction. Now on to the more interesting info. From here on, the wrestlers will have more interesting paths. This is also where some people will probably get in the comments and tell me that I'm wrong, saying, so and so was actually never in that faction. I know for some of you it might not make sense either they were in the faction or not. Unfortunately stardom wasn't always the greatest at showing if people were actually in a faction or were just faction adjacent. You'll see what I'm talking about when I get to certain wrestlers, mostly people involved with the early stages of stars. Going in alphabetical order is as good as any. So Ak Yasukawa, one of the coolest Joshi wrestlers of all time, during her time in stardom, she was in one faction. A faction she actually founded and led, and that is Orotai. Man, I need to start watching Actress Girls again, just, just so I can see her wrestle. Ami Sore is one of five members of God's Eye and a founding member. She left Actress Girls to join stardom in the new faction God's Eye. Andres Miyagi is one of the biggest what-ifs in stardom. She was such a breath of fresh air and then she just kind of lost steam. She clearly stopped wanting to be at stardom. During her time there she joined one faction and that was Odotai. Another wrestler who retired due to injury only to return in Actress Girls later, Arisa Hoshiki, other than having an amazing white belt run and being part of one of the best storylines in stardom history, she was only ever in stars. Azumi is something special in stardom. For the longest time, she was the youngest one on the roster, but the most experienced, only behind Mayu. Started wrestling at 9, debuted at 11, she is a beast and super loyal. Not counting Azumi's army, which I'm not for this video, she has only ever been in Queen's Quest. Not a founding member, surprisingly though. Julia. Man, was her joining stardom a shit show. I was very adamant back then to give her a chance, and I took her side in the whole fiasco. She has shown that all of the drama was worth it as she is one of the biggest stars in women's wrestling right now. She was the founder and only leader of Donna Del Mondo. 
Hanan, the oldest of the Sisters of Stardom, she has come a long way since her debut, pretty much unrecognizable. She has only ever been in stars. The founder and first leader of Queen's Quest, one of the best to ever enter the ring, Io Shirai, now known as Io Sky in WWE. Who remembers Itsuki Hoshino, the physical embodiment of anxiety? She had a lot of potential, but it was clear that her nerves got the better of her. Before she left, though, she was only ever in one faction, and that was Stars. Jamie Hayter is currently in AEW, but before that, she had a pretty long stint in stardom, and she was amazing. One of the few foreigners at that time that actually added to stardom instead of subtracting. During her run, she joined Orotai and had an amazing time. This is the first person on the list that was the leader of her faction, but not a founding member. Kagetsu during her run led Orotai during what many call the Golden Years. The high speed genius herself, Koguma. She is one of those wrestlers that wrestled for a bit in stardom, retired for a bit, then came back many years later. During her second and current run, she is in stars. Next is a wrestler that some newer fans might not have even heard of, but she was a very big part of Oro Tai. Chris Wolf was only ever in one faction. Kyoko Kimura is a founder and leader of Oro Tai. Her and Ak Yasukawa came together to create the group that is now the oldest faction. The reason I have her as at one is because her group before Odotai basically just became Odotai. Lady C joined Stardom and took a bit before joining a faction, but that faction was Queen's Quest and she has been in it ever since. Micah got recruited from Just Tap Out by Julia and joined Stardom. She's a founding member of Donna Del Mondo and hasn't left since joining. Maria May is about to leave Stardom, but during her time there, she joined Club Venus. She has been a main member during her Stardom stint. Before you get in the comments, I am not counting Freedom or High Z Gun. I know it can be argued that the groups that were before Odotai should be considered factions, but I'm not counting them as they are ambiguous and information available for shows before 2016 is hard to come by. I'd like to personally fact check everything I put in my videos to make sure. Sure, I make some mistakes, but that's just me being stupid and not because I trusted some other person's word for something. Mayu, according to those rules, has been in one faction, and she is the founder and leader of STARS, formerly known as Stardom's Army. Miyu Amasaki joined Queen's Quest after debuting in Stardom. She has since only been in there and nowhere else. Momoko, or Momokogo, after leaving Actress Girls and coming to Stardom, she was a prime candidate for stars, has been in no other group since. Now Yamaguchi, the axe bomber herself. This one took a bit of research as I thought originally she was in stars first, but being drafted into Odo Tai after, but it looks like she wasn't a member, so she has only ever been in Odo Tai up to her retirement. Natsu Samiri was always enjoying stardom, and during her entire stay there, she was only ever in Odo Tai. Sayori Anao joined Cosmic Angels and wrestles with them when she is in Stardom. It doesn't appear that she is signed, though. Sayaka Kamatani joined Stardom at the same time as Iti Hoshino, coming from Tam Nakano's side promotion thing, where they were idols but also fake wrestled. It was kind of odd. Which is why when she decided to join Queen's Quest instead of Stars with Tam, it was a bit of a shock. But she is still in Queen's Quest to this day. Shiki Shibasawa was only ever in Stars during her short time in Stardom. She retired just as she was improving. Thecla left Ice Ribbon and joined up with Julia and Donna Del Mondo. She has only ever been in that faction. And last but not least, Utami Hayashishita is the current leader of Queen's Quest, but she wasn't a founding member. After debuting and winning the tag league with Momo Watanabe, she joined Queen's Quest. We are now moving into the spicier stuff. Betrayals, forced drafts, and splitting of groups. Let's get into the wrestlers who were in two factions. B. Priestley, now known as B. Davenport, was a big player in stardom during her stint there. She ended up being drafted into Queen's Quest, and then after winning the tag belts, she betrays them and joins Odo Tai. She stayed in Odo Tai up until she left stardom permanently. Hana Kimura was in two factions. Odo Tai, the group her mother started, then she betrayed them and started her own group, which evolved into Tokyo Cyber Squad. So she was the founder and leader of Tokyo Cyber Squad. Moving on. 
Hina, one of the sisters of stardom, the blue one. This is where I'm going to explain an event that made making this list super annoying in understanding who was in what faction. During the first stardom draft in 2018, after all of the teams were done, Mayu said she would take the rest. This has caused a lot of debate on whether this meant everyone who wasn't drafted in is in stars or not. I hold the opinion that every active signed wrestler who had not been drafted was now in stars. So that leads us to Hina. Hina was one of the rest, and later was drafted to Queen's Quest, which she was not happy about at all. She even started crying, and Queen's Quest had to console her. Of course, she grew to love it, as you could tell nowadays. Mai Sakurai left Actress Girls and joined Stardom in Cosmic Angels, but then betrayed them to join DDM. Mirai left Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling and joined Donna Del Mondo when Shuri left DDM and created God's Eye, Murai left with her. Momo Watanabe was a founding member of Queen's Quest. It could be debated that she wasn't, since she joined like a week later, but I'm counting it. She even went on to become the leader after Io Shirai left for the WWE. She would grow disillusioned with Queen's Quest and betray them joining Orotai. Natsupoi decided to join Stardom in 2020 and came in under Donald Del Mondo staying there for quite some time until her legendary story with Tam, which ended in her joining Cosmic Angels. Saeeda was first a part of the short-lived but well-loved Jungle Assault Nation until it was disbanded and then she was drafted into STARS in the 2019 draft. Starlet Kid joined STARS and was kind of like the second in command for a while. She was eventually stolen by Odotai and then betrayed STARS in the match to get her back. Since she has been living it up in Odotai, unfortunately the weird formation of stars makes it hard to determine who is a founding member or not. Since stars wasn't really a thing until the 2018 draft, it could be debated that the members of that draft are the founding members. It could also be debated that the formation of stardom's army should be considered the founding members. Man, I don't know which makes more sense. Shuri is one of the best technical women wrestlers in the world, also was only in two factions in stardom. She is a founding member of DDM, and later split from the group to create her own faction. She is the leader and founder of God's Eye. Unagi Sayaka joined stardom in STARS, under the subgroup Cosmic Angels. When Cosmic Angels split from STARS, she was now in an official second faction. She stayed in Cosmic Angels until she left stardom. Viper, now known as Piper Niven, was originally in Odotai during her stint in stardom. When Io Shirai was gone from stardom for a bit, Odotai started attacking Queen's Quest really hard. Viper started to feel bad and jumped in to defend them from Odotai, joining Queen's Quest with a betrayal of Odotai. Waka Sukiyama is the last of the two faction wrestlers, starting in Cosmic Angels after the split from stars, so she was never in stars. She then left that group when Club Venus was created, becoming her second faction. Being in more than one faction seems like a normalish thing, but these next wrestlers have been in three. Hazuki has been in all of the original three factions. She was a founding member of Queen's Quest, sticking with them all the way up until the 2018 draft, where she was drafted by Orotai. After retiring from wrestling, she would then make a return and join up with Stars. Jungle Kiona, one of Stardom's biggest natural babyfaces, was one of the rest that was taken by Stars in the 2018 draft. After being mistreated by Stars, she would split off and create her own faction, Jungle Assault Nation. She was the founder and leader. After getting her group disbanded during the 2019 draft, she was then drafted to Tokyo Cyber Squad, making her a possible founding member. Mina Shitakawa was very similar to Unagi Sayaka, started in Stars in the subgroup Cosmic Angels. When Cosmic Angels split from stars, Mina Shirakawa had now been in two factions. She would later go on and become the founder and leader of Club Venus. Natsuko Tora was a part of the rest that got sucked into stars, then left with Jungle Kiona to John, being a founding member. She then got drafted to Odotai and later became its leader and is still the current leader. Rina, the last of the sisters of stardom, has been in her share as well. Now her being in stars is something that's up for debate. I've seen people say that she was never in it and I've heard some say that she was. I'm obviously in the camp of her being in stars. She would then get drafted in the 2019 draft to Tokyo Cyber Squad 
crying from happiness. After TCS was disbanded, she joined Odotai and is there to this day. Saki Kashima's evolution in stardom factions is kind of odd. She went from being in stars to betraying them to join Odotai, to then being forced out of Odotai and joined God's Eye. Three completely different faction vibes, but she has been killing it in each one. Last but not least, we have Tam Nakano, the best overall wrestler in stardom in my opinion as many of you already know. Some might find it surprising to find out her origins are in Odotai, being their manager slash mascot for a bit while she was injured. After being forced out of Odotai due to match stipulations, she was recruited by Stars. This is where her character became closer to the Tam you know today. Eventually she got fed up with how Mayu always put her last and split off from them to become the founder and leader of Cosmic Angels. Here we are, the final stretch. There are three wrestlers who have been in four different factions. I wasn't able to find anyone who was in 5, so these three are the top. Fukigen Death, aka Gokigen Death, aka Death Yamasan, aka Kaiori Yonayama, has been in stardom for a long time playing the veteran role that can roll up anyone but is there to elevate the new stars. Technically, she was in a faction 5 times, but one of those was just the same one twice. She started out being a part of the rest that stars took in left with Jungle Hyona to become a founding member of John, got drafted into Tokyo Cyber Squad and possessed by a demon going by Death Yamasan. Rejoined Stars later after TCS was disbanded and sucked back into Stars and became Gohiken Death. Then she was forced to join Odotai and became what we know her as today, Fukiken Death. Konami started out in Queen's Quest but was drafted into Tokyo Cyber Squad and campaigned on her hatred for Queen's Quest. After betraying Jungle Kiona, Causing TCS to be disbanded, she joined with Odotai instead. It wasn't until Shuri created God's Eye that she then joined them after having left stardom and making short appearances here and there. And finally we have Ruaka. Throughout her career, she was kind of passed around and no one really knew what to do with her. She started off in stars because of the 2018 draft, left to join John, then was drafted into Tokyo Cyber Squad in the 2019 draft, after the disbandment of TCS, she was rejoined into Stars to only betray them later and join Odotai. There we have it. Of course, I didn't cover every wrestler to ever be in stardom, and I put some stipulations on this to make it a bit easier to digest, but it's still interesting to know. It's a bit weird, but kind of understandable that the three people who have been in the most factions are wrestlers who never really made a big impact in their stay. Let me know if you learned anything, and remember, I know the groups that were around before Odotai. There is no point in including them, as stardom before 2016 is just a completely different thing. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.